When I was 16, I had magic boobs. They were amazing, perfect orbs. No one told me they were like puppies and they only stay cute for a little while, or I would have taken more pictures of them. It's been all downhill since then. I sometimes found ketchup stains on my boobs from other people's hamburgers. That's how intrusive they were, all up in your conversation, all over your lap, even when you were across the room. My boobs arrived at parties several minutes before the rest of me. They were a lot of fun. I liked them. Other people liked them. I could hide things under them. I could rest them on a bar and get free drinks. I can't even tell you what bra size I wore. They had to be made special or ordered off the internet. I was halfway down the alphabet, maybe an H, maybe a J, who knows, they never fit. Once I did the wheelbarrow pose in yoga class and I almost died. I was completely suffocated under my own boobs and they were so heavy I couldn't roll myself back down again. That's when I called my insurance company to see if they would cover the surgery. They told me what hoops I had to jump through and I complied. I also discovered that it doesn't really matter. That people don't like you more or less cause your boobs are one size or another no one really cares and that's pretty shocking. I had to have almost 12 pounds of boob removed to be certain that it doesn't matter how big my boobs are. Would I do it all again? I love that I can run better and see better and sleep better. I'm still a big woman but I can buy a big bra off the rack and I can even buy a pretty one. What I miss. I miss asking random friends and strangers to stand behind me and hold my boobs up just for a second just to give my back a break. Man, that was a great icebreaker. And the most amazing things. You have no idea how great it is to read a book for the first time after a breast reduction. You can stick your nose right in there. I've drawn the conclusion that a breast reduction is every bit as psychological in nature as it is physical. It deals with sexuality and attractiveness, emotional stability and social standards, in a way that a knee or hip surgery doesn't. The opportunity to date with weird boobs is a wonderful blessing because you can quickly weed out the unsavory boob fetishists from people who genuinely care. So I would say, if you're getting a breast reduction to please another person, don't do that. If your back hurts and your shoulders are coming apart, and your fingers are numb and you can't move the way you want, then think carefully and research exhaustively. Plan well for your recovery. I'm glad I had it done. I like that it's a part of me. I like the story my scars tell. And I like not having to worry about them anymore. Now I have room to worry about so many other things. Thank <laughs> you.